a warm greeting, today is the 1st of November 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be providing an update on the forecast related to Invest 97, which has decreased the chances of developing into a tropical cyclone before entering the eastern part of Nicaragua today. However, the instability moving across Central America, combined with a frontal system in the Northwest Caribbean, is expected to cause heavy rainfall events in Honduras, Belize, and Guatemala. This may lead to flooding issues, specifically over the weekend. Before delving into the forecast details, I wanted to mention that Tropical Storm Pilar is now beginning to move away from the Central American region after bringing significant rainfall to some areas of Nicaragua, Honduras, and El Salvador. Weather conditions are expected to improve between Thursday and Friday before the arrival of the adverse weather associated with Invest 97. The low-pressure system associated with Invest 97 is currently located southeast of the island of Jamaica. At the moment, the heaviest rain activity remains to the south of Jamaica, although some showers and thunderstorms have been recorded during the afternoon today. Fortunately, Invest 97 has not strengthened over the past two days and has remained rather weak. This is good news for Nicaragua and Honduras, as it now appears unlikely to reach the eastern coast of Nicaragua as a tropical depression between Friday and Saturday. This is why the National Hurricane Center, at 2 p.m., reduced the chances of cyclonic development once again. It currently has a 40% chance of becoming a tropical depression before reaching Nicaragua, and it's very likely that this development probability will continue to decrease in the coming days. I suspect that by 8 p.m., the National Hurricane Center will lower the development probabilities to 30% or even 20% before reaching Central America. The high-pressure system will strengthen just northeast of Honduras, which will steer Invest 97 on a west-southwest trajectory, as projected by specialized trajectory models. Note that all of them maintain a west-southwest path over the next three days and should be entering the eastern part of Nicaragua during the late afternoon or evening on Friday. Afterward, this disturbance will cross Nicaragua and eventually reach the waters of the eastern Pacific, where it now seems unlikely to reorganize. Although development chances have decreased today, some models still predict that it could arrive as a tropical storm. While this is highly improbable, at this moment, we cannot completely rule out this possibility. We will continue to monitor the evolution of Invest 97, although none of the global models predict the development of a tropical depression before reaching Nicaragua. For example, here we have the GFS model, which was the most aggressive in strengthening this disturbance. In the afternoon today, it only has a low-pressure system entering the eastern part of Nicaragua during the late afternoon on Friday. Meanwhile, the European model consistently forecasts a weak system also reaching the eastern part of Nicaragua during the early hours of Saturday. Additionally, the German and Canadian models have a very similar forecast, with a significantly weakened system arriving in the eastern region of Nicaragua, potentially as a low-pressure system without becoming a tropical depression. We have also observed that the ensemble members of the GFS model are much less aggressive in strengthening this low-pressure system. Today, very few of them predicted becoming a tropical depression. This is another reason why the development probability continues to decrease. Note that none of the ensemble members of the European model predict the development of this low-pressure system into a tropical cyclone. Although we are currently forecasting that it won't arrive as a tropical cyclone, it's essential for residents of Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua to be vigilant regarding the interaction that Invest 97 will have with a frontal system currently located over the Gulf of Mexico. The cold front will move across the Western Caribbean region. This combination can generate northeast winds, which may cause significant flooding events for Belize, Guatemala, and northern Honduras. This can be seen in the GFS model projection, where from Friday to Sunday, we can expect heavy rainfall that may affect this region, including northeastern Nicaragua, most of north-central Honduras, Belize, and north-central Guatemala. It's worth mentioning that the GFS model predicts accumulated rainfall over the next five days that could exceed 500 mm, especially for northern Honduras and eastern Belize. If the GFS model projection comes to pass, it could potentially lead to severe flooding in Nicaragua and Honduras, and significant rainfall for Belize and north and north-central Guatemala, with expected rainfall between 120 to 200 mm over the next five days. Although somewhat less aggressive, the European model also estimates that between 200 to 300 mm of rainfall could occur in Belize, Guatemala, and northern Honduras. There is a high risk of flooding over this weekend. I ask that you continue monitoring the progress of Invest 97. Here at Hurricane Info, I will continue to record videos to provide updates on the forecast. To not miss any of these videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below the video, and be sure to click the notification bell to receive alerts when I upload new videos. 
I hope you all have an excellent day, and I'll see you tomorrow.